What are you eating, Terry? Ravioli. Are you enjoying your ravioli, Terry? Well, yeah, only your thing is putting me off a bit. Do you mean the boom, Terry? Yeah, whatever. We want to hear you eat. It'll get cold, Terry. I thought you liked ravioli. And he said, oh, excuse me. And you know, I wish I'd had my bag with me, because then I would have had my two Stanley knife blades taped around a two B coin, and I could have given him a jolly good slash on the inner thigh. It never heals, you see. The cuts are too close together. He'd have bled to death over about a month. But sod's law, I'd left it in the office. Clip, squelch, clip, squelch, clip, squelch, squelch. Something really squelchy on one of my songs. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Squelch, 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 so, if you want to find out what happened to the Stalin look-alike, then I'm afraid you'd have to go and buy the book, <laughs> as I say. <clears throat> right, that's that's me done. Better be off. Uh, no, because uh, <clears throat> I've got some people dropping around later. They said these people. They said they they drop round later, so. Uh, there'll be there'll be some people dropping around later. <clears throat> you know, here we go again. <laughs> no rest for uh, and so forth. No, it'll, it'll, it'll be nice to have a bit of company. Uh, right, well, better be. Um, well, might as well. Uh, might have a brandy. Really going to focus tonight. Been a bit lazy recently, but uh, my agent's in tonight, so I really want to be on top of it. What's my cue again? Um, it's Martin, you fucker, you've stolen my smack. Right. This is a great play. Martin, you fucker, you've stolen my smack. Oh God, it's me. Oh, my pleasure. No, I'll get the next round. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I like it. I think I've had this at home, actually. Beep, 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 We have you surrounded. Lay down your weapons and come out with your hands up. We don't have any weapons. If you do not comply in five seconds, we will open fire. Five, four, three... Two, one. I can't believe you're trying to complicate the spin-off. I mean, it's already a spin-off. I think it really needs it. Look, if you've got the plain, grumpy, annoyed ones, and then you've got the sort of more colourful, nice paintings, do what you like as long as you confess it, ones in fantastic gear and then you've got the sort of weird eastern ones with funny hats who don't sort of much come into it then you know i think that gives it some meat i think you're expecting far too much of people i think it really needs it i think we should stick to the stick to the what i mean i'm just trying to add a bit of interest here because there's no getting away from the fact that the messiah has come and then gone away again and where does that leave us he might come back so what frankly I mean, you know, him possibly coming back is not an event. 
The film Volcano does not start with the clear-up after the volcano erupts, with everyone going, ooh, I wonder what it would be like if it ever erupted again. Opening scene of Alien, oh, thank God we got rid of that alien, I wonder if there'll ever be any more. I think you're turning it into a soap opera. We wouldn't have this problem if it wasn't a spin-off. Well, you know, I've always thought we should have done more with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has always been a non-starter. The Holy Ghost is like Mike in The Young Ones. I'm sorry, Guy, but to me, this just doesn't quite say Invisible Man. Well, I'm sorry as well, Tony, but it's the best I can do. I know, Guy, and I'm very glad you put so much preparation into the part. Thank you. But I just think the hat should be invisible as well. No way. I'm not happy doing that. It's just, we can see the hat. Well, you would be able to see the hat. Look, how about we try it where, halfway through the scene, you take the hat off for some reason? What reason, Tony? Um, what, because a funeral goes by? If you like. Look, he's the invisible man. He doesn't give a shit about that sort of thing. Doesn't he? Look, Tony, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to take the hat off so that the audience will think that the hat's invisible. And I'm just not having it. Look, if you're having problems making the hat invisible... I'm not having problems, Tony. I can make the hat invisible. We could get an easier hat. Look, I've made my fucking shoes invisible. Look, right, OK. That's it! No. I look stupid. Well, of course, Barbara's much better at coping with these situations than I am. Really, I should have made him swallow a razor blade attached to a piece of string and then given it a good yank. As it was, I carved my initials in his cheek and left it at that. I bloody hate Millwall supporters. Ding. Ding. Hello there. You don't mind? Of course not. That's what the chapel's for. Prayer or thinking or, or just somewhere to be quiet. Would you rather be on your own? No, no, it's all right. Don't worry, I won't try and convert you. <laughs> Anything in particular troubling you? Well, it's just this girl um, in the third year. You probably know her. Let's not mention any names. Uh, yeah. Well... I've just started to like her. Um, I mean, really like her. Probably more than is good for me. Let's not mince words. It's Robert, isn't it? Yeah. You're in love with this girl, aren't you, Robert? <laughs>